Before this video begins, surprise package time! It's origin unboxing time! Introducing the EVO 16 S Gaming Laptop from Origin, of course. Look at this baby. You can kiss it if you want. Do I need to say more? Look how thin and light this is. For your scrubs who bought a gaming laptop, you know you're hogging around like a bunch of bricks in your bag. This baby is light and it's thin and it's aesthetically pleasing. 16 inch display, 15 inch body. God damn! The narrow bezel display gives you more screen space as well. This is a meme. This is a meme template <laughs> waiting to happen. Ha! Go crazy means there's <laughs> more screen space equals more room for gaming. More room for gaming means more gamer girl time. This Evo 16S is customized with HD UV printing, as you can see. Very nice to the touch. You can get your own design done as well. You can even customize the individual lights on the red, green, blue keyboard for custom lighting. I'm told it's called lighting and not lightning. What the frick is happening, guys? The touch- Ooh, that's nice. The touchpad is uh, glass-based, similar to uh, like that of a smartphone. But Felix, what's inside? It's all about the inside. Well, here, let me tell you. I have no idea what this means, but I know it sounds good. GeForce RTX 2080 Max-Q design. It basically means you can play Battlefield fine. The GPU and CPU in the EVO 16S will help you record gameplay anywhere you are. Check out Origin PC's website. They have a bunch of other laptops as well, from light and thin to big and strong. G uh, desktop replacements. One lucky winner, as always, is gonna get one of these EVO 16S. Details are in the link in the below. A thank you. Let's go on with the video. Hello, Mina-san. It's me, Felix Kajelberg. It's time for me to Google myself. This should be good. <laughs> I've been doing this as a series on this channel. Every two years, I Google myself. See what kind of j changes there are, what kind of developments, what's, gonna, what's it gonna be? You know, people always comment on my channel that Oh, you're not original, you're never coming up with good ideas Oh, I came up with this challenge, okay? Now that Article 13 has passed, I'm pretty sure I can copy strike everyone doing the Google challenge Because I came up with it first Actually, it was Marzia's idea, and I completely stole it from her. But regardless of that, Marzia can't copy strike me. She, she's not a YouTuber anymore. <laughs> Googling myself, 18 plus probably. Googling myself, my net worth in the title. Nice one, Liza. <laughs> she knows that that's really what everyone wants to know. How much money do you make? How much money? Do oh. How much money does Pokemon make? I Google myself. I Google myself challenge, eh? Markiplier, I Google myself. You know, even Wired, what, what do they do? They, they call it autocomplete just because they ha can't have Google in the title. But let's get real here. It's the same goddamn story. Look at Markiplier. He's in there. I'm only acting like this because I'm salty that I will never, it will never happen. <laughs> You know, the only good thing coming out of these autocompletes is, is this clip. Is that like a personal attack or something? Or? <laughs> My favorite, favorite two seconds. <laughs> is this a good reference? It's a good meme. All right, let's start a incognito tab. Oh, why are you an incognito, Felix? Uh, because I need to Google myself and I need fresh, I need the freshness. Okay, done. We Google myself. Now, what do we immediately know from this information? That's right, everyone. I'm 180 centimeter. The perfect height. There will never be a better height than 180. People keep saying, oh, he's so insecure about his height. Oh yeah, well then why does Google say I'm 180? Apparently I made a graphic novel in 2017. I wasn't aware of this, but that's always good to know. You know, you can learn a lot about yourself by Googling yourself. It says that I am known as PewDiePie, a Swedish YouTuber, comedian, and video game player. I'm a video game player. Not a gamer. I'm a video game player. Thank you very much. Uh, best known for his YouTube video content, which is mainly consisted of Let's Play commentaries. I suppose my library, quant in quantity speaking, that is not wrong. People also search for Markiplier Logan. 
claim this knowledge panel. What does that mean? Can I? Oh. Oh. So I can like put your bet. What? So I can change my height. Oh hell yeah! It's happening, boys. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's review time. <laughs> Reality can be whatever I want. I'm 181, okay? Why? He mentions it in his latest Google Myself video. <laughs> Which is happening, right? I'm sourcing as I go. Oh, it hasn't changed yet. Well, goddammit. So I like these because they had, they they summarize basically the main questions people have about me, which is number one, how much do, does PewDiePie make a day? By Forbes estimate, he receives 12 million in 2015. According to the Money Nation, this helped increase his net worth to 68 million. Very old data, isn't it? He has also made nearly 42 million in merchandise. What? No way. I wish. Jesus Christ. Buy the merch, guys. I had not made anywhere near that amount. $3,400 per hour? Not bad for a university dropout. I don't know exactly how much I make per day. It doesn't seem too far off, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. Money is such a... I, I'm going right in the deep end, but money is such an interesting topic for me because... Uh, I obviously didn't start YouTube to make money. A sad thing I've learned is how much people value money in, in a way, or at least the idea of money. People look at money as something undoubtedly good. It couldn't possibly be something negative to have money, which is uh, I under understandably a, a strange concept for people to accept. But you look at people that win the lottery uh, and uh, having money then fundamentally changes their their whole life, you know, not just how they view life, but also how other people view them. And I think that's a change in particular that I feel like I really want to protect. And that's the reason why in a, in a way I, I try to live modestly, because obviously I don't, but con in considering how much I make, I try to live modestly because I don't want to, I want to just live a normal life. I don't want the money to change my life. It's great to have, but if it, it <laughs> It can also obviously become a problem. Millionaire ranks about why money is bad. Okay. I think it's important to note though that I think a lot of people think, oh, if I only had money, then it would solve all this problem for me when it's not really true. And also the concept of when is it ever enough? Unless you have a goal of how much you want to make. If you've invested in the stock market, then having money is obviously a stressful element as well because once you have money, you're afraid of losing money. There's a lot of things to consider that I think isn't brought up enough. And I think a lot of people look at money in a way that, oh, if only I had money, all my problems would be solved, which I can say it's not true, okay? Everyone is a blood-sucking vampire and they want your money. And as soon as they know you have money, they are coming for it, okay? That's my little rant of the day here. My goal is to uh, save up a little bit so I can buy a house in Japan and have enough to uh, be able to sustain myself for the future. I'm gonna live a long life and I want to be able to have it for a while as well, you know. That, if anyone is wondering why, uh, you know, maybe why does he still do brand deals and all this stuff, that's why I have, that's my goal. And I think it's important to have a goal in mind. What is PewDiePie's net worth? Okay, this one says 20 million. Okay, I would say it's definitely more than that. What is PewDiePie famous for? For let's playing. I guess that makes sense. I don't think people now associate me with let's plays, but that is what made me become the big YouTuber. It's pretty crazy how much this channel has changed over the years from screechy let's play commentary to did I just spit out a rice? To screechy meme commentary, everyone. That's right. No, I'm really, I'm really proud of myself for making these decisions that at the time seem really stupid, but obviously it paid off really, really big time. I think a lot of YouTubers fell in the trap that they always have to please their audience, no matter what, and uh, that should be their main goal. And and that's the kind of YouTubers that end up becoming sort of slaves to themselves and their own content. 
and eventually it just leads to the demise of the channel because after a while people aren't going to be interested anymore if you're a minecraft channel and you always just do minecraft videos uh, obviously you can find a lot of success in that don't get me wrong after a while people are going to get tired of it although minecraft is a terrible example because <laughs> clearly it's still very popular fortnite for example you know that has a time on it people aren't going to be always looking for fortnite content i don't know what i'm getting at the point was for me when i did horror videos i it was getting exhausting every single day i played horror games going ah ah and after a while it just wasn't funny it wasn't interesting and it wasn't scary anymore so i kept making horror videos even though i didn't like it and then people got angry at me for not getting scared and for not enjoying it, which is like what I wasn't getting out of it anyway. So then I stopped doing it and then people got angry. Why aren't you playing horror games anymore? And I realized I'm not going to be able to please everyone. So I might as well do what I enjoy. And I think that was my point. That's what really paid off. Who is the richest YouTuber? I'm pretty sure I am not the richest YouTuber. Uh, I don't do these sort of mega deals. I don't, I'm not the big corporate yeah, I would assume Dude Perfect probably makes a lot more money than me. Just based on the fact that they do these massive deals. That's just pure speculation, but I can see that. I can also see Ryan's toy review making a lot more than me because uh, kids advertisement. I don't know if they advertise, but it wouldn't surprise me if they made more than me. Again, just pure speculation. I have no idea, but at the same time, that's what these sites do as well. They don't know how much we make. So it's always kind of annoying when people accept these as, as face value. They're like, oh my God, he makes this much money. That's crazy. Oh my God, Superwoman made this much. That's crazy. They, they don't know. They're just coming up with numbers. And a lot of times these are less confirmed by management that uh, do the deals for these uh, people. So they conflate the numbers as a way to get more money from brand deals as a way to justify getting paid more for brand deals. Oh, this person makes this much from brand deals. Is PewDiePie still dating Marcia? Hey Marcia, are we still dating? Yeah. She says yes. Which YouTuber has the most subscribers? Ah! 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 Don't Google that one. Next Google, please. What nationality is iDubs? Why is that in here? He's American. Do ninjas use samurai swords? I don't know. Why does this come? Does people have a brother? No! How tall is Joji? <laughs> Am I taller than Joji, please? Ah, 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 ah. All right, let's uh, move on with the Google myself and do some Google autocomplete. So I can go, is that a personal attack or something? PewDiePie, age, 29, bitch. Net worth, a lot of money, bitch. Tuber Simulator. What? Tuber Simulator is becoming relevant. Okay, how about this? Is PewDiePie moving to Japan? <laughs> I wish, okay? It's a little complicated getting a visa and all that stuff. Apparently, I spoke to a tax expert and they said it's actually a little complicated now because of Logan Paul. Because people associate YouTuber. YouTuber isn't recognized as a job in Japan uh, or a lot of countries and uh, they mentioned that thanks to Logan Paul it's actually a little bit more complicated thanks Logan thanks a lot is PewDiePie Swedish yes yes I am Swedish as you can tell let me take you guys to my hometown I, hometown I really wanted to do this so I grew up in Gothenburg I have not been back here in so long where are we now Okay, yeah, 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 there we go, the main square. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> I have not seen, the thing is, my two closest friends, my family and my sister moved to Stockholm when I was living in Italy for a short period. So there hasn't been a moment for me to come back to Gothenburg, even though it's technically my hometown. I wanna go to where, um, where I used to live. Oh, Femman. <laughs> This is the tram I would always take home from school. <laughs> it means nothing to anyone but me, basically. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. I was literally about to say, it's very rare to get like good weather in Gothenburg and then we're actually super, look, it's super sunny here. And then you move forward and it's just like, this is what it's actually like in Gothenburg. It's like, nope, it's still sunny now, okay. 
This is what it's actually like in Stockholm. Uh, Gothenburg, wherever I'm from, no one knows. Okay, this is where I used to live, this street. Very central. Oh, here it is, this is my street. I don't know, is this too in invasive? Like, no one know I know live here anymore. So this is the building, and we would live on the top. And, uh... <laughs> Man, so many funny stories, but I don't know what I want to share. I used to always, uh, if I was bored at night, I would always uh, throw snowballs at people walking by. <laughs> I was so drunk one time when I came home, that I threw out up outside the window and for you know there's obviously a lot of parking here but my parents out of all cars that could be parked underneath my parents car was the one that took the fall <laughs> so my parents enter the car though my parents are leaving this morning look at the car then looking up see that it's literally my window and they're like okay well he did it that son of a bitch. But they were obviously they were really not mad about it. I think they realized that. Normal they I remember they said it. They were like, usually you're not bad, so you're okay. Very nice parents I have. This I realize this video just became something completely different, but this is what I want to do. Okay. Let's go to where I actually grew up though, because I only lived uh, my teenage years in the center. This is the road that I grew up. There's a the house. Super cute road. Then my best friend would live in this house, so we were literally neighbors. I hope this is not a privacy problem, but yeah, that's the house I grew up in. Oh, they built out the balcony. Super nice neighborhood. I'm very thankful for my parents for letting me grow up in such a great place. So weird to look back at these things. Oh my god, they cut down the tree. <laughs> there was this ginormous uh, apple tr uh, pear tree here. And my parents would literally always make me clean up all the pears, okay? I take back everything nice I said about my parents, okay? <laughs> they would always make me clean up the pears, and there were so many goddamn pears. It was so big. So many pears. And there was apple trees over here, and I had to clean that up too. And I had to cut the grass on this hill? How do you even do that? And then we were responsible for the snow on this staircase. If anyone falls and dies, that would be our fault. So they would always send me out to scoop the snow. How could they? How could they treat me like this? This takes me back, man. All right, enough with that. Let's go back to why we're here. Is PewDiePie? Uh, no, no, I'm not vegan. Uh, I guess I'm pescatarian. Uh, basically, I just eat fish and no other meats. Sushi is too good <laughs> to give up. One of the reasons why was uh, when we shot Scare PewDiePie season two, I had to interact with uh, a bunch of pigs. And they were so cute. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to eat these. My my moral is that I, I would, I eat what I would kill. Uh, I don't like the idea of, of uh, sh making this uncomfortable act of killing something so easy. Is PewDiePie American? No, still dating my- Is PewDiePie Russian? Is PewDiePie good? What a great question. <laughs> No, no, I'm not. Why is PewDiePie chair so expensive? <laughs> it's a high quality chair with Italian leather and fashion. Why is PewDiePie so hot? Oh, stop it. When is PewDiePie birthday? Getting married, secret, but this year. Can PewDiePie speak Japanese? Yeah. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> no, I'm trying. Very slowly, very, very slowly uh, trying to learn. Can PewDiePie sing? With autotune, yes. Speak Russian? Uh, no, but my parents taught me a little bit of Russian when I was growing up, so I know how to read the letters, more or less. And I, I, I mean, I knew a few words. Меня зовут Феликс. Я работаю на YouTube. When I was young, people thought Russia was going to be the new big uh, country and it, it obviously became China instead. So they thought, oh, well, it would be good for him to learn Russian. Thanks for nothing, Russia. You really did it. Can PewDiePie sue the media? It depends. I, I get this question a lot, like, why don't you just sue the media? Blah, 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 blah. I think the thing is that you have to prove that what they wrote, they actually wrote knowing that it was false or something like that. Uh, which is kind of hard to prove, 
I think maybe if I look into it, there could be some case somewhere, but I really just care about making videos right now. Right now, media, I might change my mind, so you better behave. Which will bring me to the final tangent that I have been going on on this video, which is PewDiePie versus the media. I thought about it recently and it's like, there's a completely different version of me existing in the eyes of of people that read these articles about me and in, as opposed to the people that actually watch my videos. And I think it's always because people that watch my channel know who I am and, and I think you have a pretty good understanding of what my values are and, and uh, that I'm not this horrible person that I, I am <laughs> portrayed as in the media. Obviously, a lot of it is self-inflicted. Like, yes, I have done a lot of these mistakes, but I think if you, if you constantly reinforce the negative, only the negative things that someone has done, you're gonna create an ugly picture of a person. I think no matter who you are, if you constantly list all the shortcomings of any person, that person will be, look like a really bad person. Uh, there, there is never a balance, or very rarely at least, a balanced story about me, about the good that this channel has done and all the positive things. Uh, it's always just the negative things listed and I think that's why for a lot of people I exist as like a completely different character. It's interesting. I think I've kind of given up. I, I don't really care about what people that don't watch me think about me, knowing that other people still know the truth. In a way, I, I find comfort in that, that I don't feel like I need to go on some sort of, oh guys, I'm actually a really good person. Look, look how much money we donated to charity. I'm so great. Look at all these videos and success. It's so great. No, I'm not about that. Even though I literally just brought it up. Thank you guys for watching this Google PewDiePie video, 2019 edition. See you guys in two years. Smash like if this was enjoyable. Sorry for all the tangents. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. What? Tuber Simulator is becoming relevant. No! No, don't leave! No, please! Sponsor Eagle, please do something! Yes! Yes! Ah, <laughs> uh, this game is still relevant, goddammit.